Hello, Mark Crossfield here. Today we've got the Titleist 910D fairway hitting up against the Callaway Razor Hawk. So let's give these two fairways a hit, these heavyweights if you like, in the fairway market. Um, see which one comes out on tops. Okay, we've got the Razor Hawk from Callaway hitting up against the Titleist 910D, so the deeper face Callaway. Let's give them a hit, see what they're all about. So we're going to start off with the 910. 910 first impressions. It's quite a different shape to the Callaway actually. Callaway has much straighter lines on it, much more definition where the, um, the Titleist here, it's a bit mucky, it's been hit quite a lot this one. The Titleist here it is it's much more rounded. So what I mean by that is the face, the front line looks much more rounded um, than the razor, which has a very sharp leading edge, razor, that kind of thing. I think that's why they're obviously going into those names. Um, so out of the two, I think the Callaway actually looks slightly nicer. You've got to remember though, Titleist does have the amazing short fit, which even the best players in the world are dabbling with short fit. They're making sure their free woods to their drivers are all made to their specs to help them get round the course. So, Obviously, Callaway, you're getting what you're given. You can't change any of the specs. So let's give the Titleist a hit. Start us off. Here we go. Let's give it a wallop. Nice looking shape. Like I say, it is more rounded than the Callaway, but it still looks decent. Here we go. Okay, the Titleist feels nice. This is the D, so the deeper headed one. The D and the F look very much the same when you're looking down from this angle. It's more the fact that it's got the deeper face of the D, so aimed at people who might want to use it from the tee more and the fairway a bit, but still feels nice off the face. Let's give it another hit. I mean, that does go. It feels good. Like I said, I like the Titleist uh, 910 range. I love short fit. I think it's a great idea. Um, I think there are prettier free woods out there, but this one works. It performs well. Again, very true flight. No high overspinning kind of flight. So really aim maybe at golfers who want... Uh, to get a penetrating ball flight, not too much height with their shot. So that's the 910D. Let's compare that up then to the Razor. Now, putting the Razor down, it does look nicer than the Titleist for me. I like the sharp lines. That looks really sharp, really easy to line up, really easy to picture where the ball's going. Let's give it a hit then, give it a compare. Performance-wise, I would say it feels the same. Not much difference in physical performance. I think where Callaway wins is on looks, the sharpness of the head. It's a slightly bigger head than the 910. It feels slightly set back a little bit more. Um, so I do like the shape of this, but like I said, I do like short fit in tightness. So it's very hard to choose between these two. Um, and I think if you guys are out there, it's going to be more to do that if you want to buy into short fit or not. If you're not first about the custom fitting aspect, trying to get it to calm down your left or your right hits then the razor in its look might just pick it let's give it one more hit yeah feels nice both of those really good three woods and um, definitely aimed i think at golfers who uh, know a bit more what they're on about better players the 910 does offer a lot more variation with short fit offers a lot more um kind of use for every standard of golfer where the razor really got to be Pretty razor sharp with your game, that's an awful joke. Um, so let me know what you think, guys. If you are trying these, thinking about comparing these, let me know which one you come out with. If you're using one, tell me why. I'd be interested in hearing. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, and uh, keep up a good golf.